Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here and this is your first time clicking on my video, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you stick around and click the subscribe button. But today's video is going to be a full face first impressions, literally a full face. Everything on my face is something that I haven't tried before. So I'm playing with new makeup. I'm hanging out with my girls today or my guys, whatever. And yeah, we're just going to hang out, play with some makeup, chit chat, have a good time. So if you want to see what makeup products that I used to create this look, then you're in the right place. Just stick around and let's get started. So I'm going to start off with the Olay Professional Pro X Eye Cream. Looks like this. I got this at Walmart uh, on the clearance rack. So I'm going to apply some of this around my eye area without getting it in my eye. Uh, I like the way this feels. It almost dries to like a uh, powdery finish. It's kind of nice. Hopefully it'll fill in my fine lines and wrinkles. We'll see. Alright, so putting on the eye cream. So I'm going to apply a little bit of this in between my eyebrows. Just because I could use a little restoration there as well. Eye cream, check. Also, all the products that I use will be listed in the description box in the order that I use them. Okay, so next up, I'm going to try out this Dr. Lin Daily Hydrating Gel. It says, soothes, soothes, rehydrates dry, irritated skin with hyaluronic acid plus aloe vera, and it's paraben-free. So it looks like that. I have used um, the Dr. Lin wipes, um, so... This is the gel, so Ew. So it looks like that. Y'all see that? <laughs> it's like jiggly. Alright, so I'm gonna apply some of this. Let's see, do I have to leave it on? Smooth onto dehydrated um, skin, leave on for 30 minutes or 30 seconds, and then pat off the excess with a cloth, okay? So I'm going to put some of this on and then I'm going to pat off the excess um, gel with a um, cotton brown. Anything with aloe vera gel in it is pretty good stuff. So If you guys hear background noise, um, my kids are up. So Jared's in the next room coughing. <coughs> I'm going to try this L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer, and I have mine in the shade Dark Brunette, so it looks like that. And this is a 0.5 millimeter ultra fine tip, as you can see here. Um, that's what it says, and it does come with a spoolie, so that's always nice. I've been wanting to try this for quite some time. I just kept forgetting. Every time I would go to the store, I would forget. <laughs> so, let's see what My this understanding, is. this is very comparable to the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills um, Browis pencil. So, the pencil looks like this. And, oh yeah. Here's your tip. There's the color. So let's work this in the brows and see what it do. All right, I'm actually going to use the spoolie that it comes with. Got a lot of redness on my face today, especially like around here. Maybe you guys see it here and like up in here, up in here. All right, so 
Let's see. Let's give this a go. I'm going to try very hard not to overdraw my brows today. I should say tonight. It's literally like 11 o'clock at night. And I'm filming a full face tutorial. Hashtag YouTuber life. Okay. Let's work on this tail a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put this down before I end up really butchering my eyebrows. Alright, we're going to leave it like that because they're already looking a little a little big, a little dark. Alright, um, this is the Salon Perfect Brow Scara Plus Treat Plus Tint. So, looks like that. The product looks like this. Um, I have mine in the shade dark brown. Dark brown. And it looks like you're supposed to put the treatment on first, let it dry, and then um, put on your tint. But I totally forgot to do that. So we're just going to go straight on into the, um, the brow tint. It's like they're in... Um, two separate tubes. You see this? Two separate tubes. And then you have here, um, this is a funky little brush here. And then you have the doe foot applicator. Swirl it around, get a little product on there. Oh. Okay, so it's really dark. So let's see what this be about. Okay, this, I don't know if it's fiberized or what, but it looks like it's adding a little bit of thickness. Um, like this would be good to use um, on its own if you have a pre pretty decent amount of brow hairs. Um, I don't know about this brush, but so far I'm liking the product. I'm going to go ahead and do primer. So I'm actually going to use two primers today um, just because my skin is so dry. Um, I'm going to start off with this Hydrating Face Primer by e.l.f. So it looks like that. And it's the green bottle. So it kind of looks like a mix between a lotion and a serum. As you can see. So I... I'm just going to apply. Okay, it has like the um, like the silicone base. Feels a little. The heck. It feels a little bit oily, but I don't know if it's supposed to be like that. We will see. I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little bit oily. Uh, feels a lot oily, but. That might um, go away here in a second. Next, Please. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer, and this is the Clear. Let's see there, it says Clear. This one comes out more like a lotion. It's white. I put it in my T-zone, which is where the majority of my pores need a little help. Now see, this one smells pretty good. Yeah, this one has a, a light floral scent, whereas the other one has a weird scent to it. I can't really place it, but it's kind of weird. A little bit here, where I have some large pores. Hell, I'm just going to put it everywhere, because let's be real. Mama's got some hella large pores pores on her face and I have very textured skin and I have aging skin so I need all the help I can get. I ain't, I ain't gonna front, okay? We're not gonna front like I have um, decent skin because I don't try. Now this I have never tried. This is the Urban Decay 
eyeshadow primer potion, but it's the anti-aging formula. I have used um, the original and I used it completely up. So this is the anti-aging formula. So the packaging looks like this. And if you're wondering what's on my nails, it's the one that I got in my Ipsy bag for um, March. I mean, no, sorry, February. And it's by Trust Fund Beauty, and it's in the shade $12 Latte. Um, if you want a really nice close-up when it was freshly done, because this is like three days old now, um, you can go to my Instagram and check it out there. All right, so, okay, so this has a kind of flat doe foot applicator. So I'm going to go ahead and slap some of this on my eyeballs. Not a lot, but enough. I'm going to blend it in. This is the BB cream, actually. It's not a foundation. Um, by e.l.f. So it looks like that. I have mine in the shade so, medium. Like I said, this is a BB cream. It's not a foundation. It does have an SPF of 20, which is nice. And I like that pretty much all of Elf's packaging comes with a pump. So I'm going to pump a little bit of this on the back of my hand, and then we're going to apply it. Ooh, it's kind of dark. Okay, it's kind of dark. So that's what it's looking like. But we're going to make it work. Either way, we're going to make it work. So, because it's a BB cream, it's probably going to sheer out anyway. So, I'm, ooh, I'm going to slap some of this on my face. And then we're going to blend her out. We're going to blend her out with the booty blender. Oh, gosh. Oh, I feel like I'm going to regret this. Ooh. It feels very lightweight, though. It's not like thick. Um, I feel like my face is like super red right now. Do you guys see that? I don't know what's going on. Just to see what we can come up with. It is really dark, but it's okay. We're gonna make it work. Now I'm, I'm going to try some concealer. Um, I think what I'm going to start off with is this NARS Radiant, what is this called? The NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, and I have mine in the shade Custard Medium 1. So it looks like that. This will help brighten up that um, dark foundation that we just applied or I applied not we so I'm going to use this in the center of my face like show now I look like a tribal person I'm gonna blend it out blends out nicely We're definitely not pulling off a full coverage look here. Why do I look so white? What just happened? The heck? Now we're going to try this Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. That is a mouthful. So I actually got this in my Ipsy. So it looks like this. And I have mine in the shade, I think I got mine in the shade tan. Yeah, tan. See. So when you open it up, it looks like this comes in four different shades. Got a little bit there on the tip of my finger, so it says to warm it up. So I'm gonna warm it up here like so. And then I'm going to apply this under the eye area. This is some heavy duty feeling stuff. It feels very thick and heavy. The 
Beauty Blender and really press it into the skin with the dabbing motions and really work it in. Hopefully it will not settle into my fine lines and wrinkles. For powder, I'm going to try the Laura Mercier, what is this called? Ready, set, go, what? Laura Mercier Deluxe Mini Translucent Loose Setting Powder. And it does come with a little puff, um, but I don't want to use the little puff. I'm going to save um, this little puff that it comes with. I'm going to save that, so we're going to set that aside. And it is a loose setting powder in translucent. All right, let's give it a go. So it has a little sifter on it, as you can see. Um, so, ooh, shit, and it's very messy, as you can see. <laughs> All right, we're going to pretend that that didn't happen. So taking a little brush, this is my um, setting brush from Real Techniques. I'm going to take a little bit of this and apply it under the eye area. This is by City Color. This is the Contour Effects Palette. And this has, um, let's see, a contour, a bronzer, and a highlight. So it looks so like I'm going to take my Essential Tools High Definition Angled Bronzing Brush. I'm going to take some of this um, bronze shade. Ooh. Oh, God. This kicks up a lot. I mean, I've literally just touched and it kicked up a lot of powder oh my god I'm actually scared to do this all right I'm just going to warm up the face with this guy oh my god <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead. I'm gonna close this. Uh -uh. Okay, I tried it. At least I can say I tried it. <laughs> I'm going to go in with this Manicadar blush in the shade Paradise. And I think I also got this in this last month's um, Ipsy. Describe. I'm just gonna use the same brush. Whoa. Highly pigmented. Put this on. Oh, yeah. Y'all see that, though? Okay, then. I see ya. I see ya, blush. So I'm going to try... I don't remember if I've tried this one or not. I bought three of them, and I think this is the one that I haven't used. This is the Color Icon Blush in Rosé Champagne by Wet n Wild. So it looks like that. I swatched all of these and posted pictures on my Instagram if you want a close-up photo. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. Um, too light for me to use as a blush, so I am going to use it as a highlight. So taking my fan brush by Real Techniques, I'm going to dip into this guy here and slap it here. Yeah. Yep, yep. Has a nice rosy sheen to it. Perfect highlight for my skin tone. Before I move any further, I'm going to um I'm going to put this Indie Beauty Buttercream Antioxidant Lip Scrub on my lips. Looks like this. Um, because I am going to use a matte lipstick, so mm, that smells good. So the product looks like that. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this on. Oh, wow. Oh, that feels good. Yeah. It's not like uh, too much sugar, but like just enough. 
to give you a little grit. So, I already primed my eyes. I think what I'm going to do is use my Shanixo palette by BH Cosmetics. I've been wanting to dab into this um, for a minute, but uh, I just kept forgetting. So, today is the day. Today is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, we will. All right, so the palette um, looks like this. And if you don't know, um, this palette comes with nine eyeshadow colors. Like that. And it also comes with nine lipstick colors. So the palette opens up. And what I love about this palette is... You get a mirror on both sides. On the eyeshadow palette, you get a bigger mirror. But what I like about this palette is that the eyeshadows and the lipsticks are separate. Don't you hate it when you get a palette and it's like you get blush, you get lipstick, you get eyeshadow all in one little palette and everything is like right there. It's like I don't want eyeshadow in my lipstick. Um, so I appreciate that this is like... One's on one side and one's on the other. So I am going to use this palette today. Not quite sure how or what, but we'll figure that out as we go along. I'm going to take this little e.l.f. brush. This is the professional eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. And I'm going to take this cream shade right here. And I'm going to apply this to my brow bone. Now I'm going to go into um, this like orange soda color here, that's what I'd like to call it. Um, on camera it's coming off a little bit darker than it is in person, but I'm going to take this on this fluffy brush by Wet n Wild and it's just a blending like crease brush. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this in the crease of my eye. going to go in with another crease brush. This is by Up and Up and it's just the crease brush. Literally, that's what it says. So, taking this like darker orangey, not orangey, reddish brown color, I'm going to work this tighter into the crease area. So, instead of like putting it all over the crease area, I'm just really going to work it into like the socket part of my crease. So, oh wow, okay. That's a lot darker. Um, so, let me put that in there. And then I'm going to go back with the other brush and kind of blend it out. This color is really pigmented, so um, you got to be careful. And I feel like, um, I don't know which primer that I got on my eye but uh, it wasn't completely like mattified and it, the shadow was skipping a little bit. So just be careful, especially when working with dark matte shades because matte shades don't blend as well as shimmery or satin shades do as it is. So when your eye isn't mattified, it's going to skip a little bit more. This is by e.l.f. This is the blending eye brush. And it's a little bit smaller than that fluffy one. So I'm going to take this same shade on this brush. And I'm really going to define this into the crease area. Like so. Almost like if I were to be doing a cut crease. Just applying a little bit at a time and blending as I go. I'm going to go in with this shade right here. It's like a charcoal-y gray color. And I'm going to take it on this crease brush by Up and Up. And I'm going to pop it on this outer corner like this here. And 
and I'm going to very carefully put it on the outer corner and then blend it inwards, push it inwards ever so slowly because I don't want to overdo um, this shade. So I'm literally like touching, uh, popping this right here on the outer corner. I really like this um, combo. Wasn't really expecting to be wowed, but kind of am. I kind of am. All right, I need a clean blending brush because this one here is like all orangey dark. So. I'm gonna go on my new one by Real Techniques, and this is the Multitask Eye Brush. So, taking my multitasking eye brush, I'm going to slightly blend that out. See. So, I'm torn between these three shades here. So, let's do a swatchy swatchy. So those are the shades there. I think I'm going to do a gradient of this one and this one. Taking this flat brush by um, Wet n Wild, I'm going to go in with this um, pinky shade here. I'll pick some up on this hairbrush and I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it on the inner half of my eyelid. Put my brush over and I'm going to go in with this shade here and I'm going to put this more on like the middle to the outer part of my eye. And make sure to um, cross over the first lid shade. So I'm getting a nice blend between the two. These, I'm really impressed with the quality of these um, eyeshadows, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie. Taking this here, no name um, brush like this, I'm gonna take this middle champagne y color right here and I'm going to pop it on the inner corner um, I mean look at that look how pigmented these shadows are I'm like super impressed with this palette I'm not gonna lie I, I kind of like it just probably a tiny bit better than my Carly Bible palette, and I really like my Carly and Bible palette. What I think palette. I'm going to do is take that orangey brownish shade, and I'm going to run this on my lower lash line. I'm going to really tap off the excess. Run it under my lower lash line. Then I'm going to go in with a tighter brush like this here um, angled brush from Wet n Wild and I'm going to take that dark charcoal color and I'm going to work this right in tightly into my lash line, focusing more on the outer corner and then, you know, whenever it stops is when, when it stops. I'm not going to add more shadow to the brush. going to take this here, um, shit. Um, this is by Rimmel London and this is a pure white eyeliner and I'm going to run this in my waterline to brighten my eyes. I'm just lightly putting it in my waterline. I'm not doing it like super heavily. Alright, now I'm going to take this 
liquid eyeliner pencil by Hikari and I also got this in my Ipsy bag. I think I got this either December or January. I can't remember and I'm pretty sure this is just a black shade. I don't know. Let's open it up and find it out. What the heck? Is it purple? It's in the shade Iris and it's freaking purple. You know what? I'm gonna roll with it. I don't even care. I'm gonna it looks really wet, so I'm just gonna really, really closely line my upper lid. Land comb. What is this? Black ebony coal crayon. Looks like this by Lancome. Somebody's dog is going ham. Pretty sure y'all can hear that. I'm going to try um, this on my bottom lashes. This is the e.l.f. Beautifully Bare Lash Tint Mascara in Naked Noir. So it looks like so. And as you can see, it has a teensy, weensy brush. I'm going to use this for my bottom lashes since it has a... T oh my. Okay. <laughs> wow. Look at this brush, you guys. It is so teensy, weensy. Wow. This might be a good tight lining mascara. Isn't that what they're called? This, this is the L'Oreal Voluminous 5 times Fuller Lashes Bold Volume Building Mascara um, in Blackest Black. So, looks like they it. Oh, yeah, I like this mascara. Already, it's like, boom, in your face, disgrace. going to use, um, this is by Model Co. And this is the Lip Enhancer. It's the Illusion Lip Liner. So it looks like this. And it doesn't have a shade. It just says M Co. M Co. So I'm going to use this on the lips. And then we'll put on the lipstick. So the product looks like this. That's the shade. It looks very natural. What do you need, Gary? So I'm going to put this on. Oh, what the heck? No. That is not what I was expecting. This looks like concealer on my lips. Um... Uh, Okay, they're not, they're not what I was expecting, but I'll go ahead and use it. You guys see it's like blurring out my lip color. I am excited to use this. This is by Too Faced. This is the Melted Matte, and it's in the shade Sellout. I got this at Sephora the other day. It's in the shade Sellout. I did do a Sephora haul, which also has a giveaway. Um, I'll link it down below so you can check it out. But... I don't know, this might be too light for me, you guys. Looks like that. Sell out. Oh, I don't know. Let's try it and see. You never know. Huh. Alright. Fingers crossed that this is not as light as it looks. Uh, it's not too bad. So, the last thing I'm going to try is this Makeup Forever Mist and Fix 2. I don't know. It's a makeup setting spray. It's long lasting and moisturizing. So the box looks like that. Ah, that feels refreshing, you guys. I'm not even going to lie. That feels right, so, so good. That is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Comment below and let me know um, some new products that maybe I can try that um, you like. And don't forget to thumbs up the video, you guys. And let me know that you enjoyed it so that I can do another full face, trying new makeup, first impression kind of thing. I'm trying to get these videos 
smaller and smaller. I, I know sometimes it's difficult to sit there and watch a 30 minute video, especially when it's like applying makeup, but it's fun to play with um, new makeup and you know, it's a way to find out what works and what doesn't. There are some things that I'm not so crazy about and most of them are the face products and I think a lot of it's because they are like, not that there's anything wrong with buying cheap makeup, but that e.l.f. BB cream wasn't feeling it. Um, definitely not feeling the face products by City Colors. So, you know, we'll just have to play with some other stuff. I have like three drawers over here that are full of makeup that I haven't touched, haven't tried yet. So I'll do another one of these if you guys like this video. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And like I said earlier, all the products that I used will be linked down below in the down bar. So check that out for reference. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to enter my giveaway and prove it ain't easy. Okay, deuces. Bye. Mwah.